Today it's a hot and very sunny day and we took some time to find a shade to review the all new Hyundai Verna a hot sedan though Talking about Hyundai Verna Verna was launched in the year 2006 and in this 15 years gap it got six major updates and today we have with us the 6th gen Hyundai Verna Before checking out all the features how the engine is how it performs subscribe to Torque and Throttle and click on the bell icon for regular updates and notifications We are reviewing today the SX variant of Hyundai Verna cause this is the most bought and value for money option in the Hyundai Verna variants Talking about the design and styling Verna gets a sharp look at the front the front side of the car features a massive grill which comes in honeycomb structure and finished with chrome that gives a very smart look to the car in the front the headlight setup comes with an led drl which looks like a eyebrow on this whole setup and there is a projector light which comes with an halogen bulb a cornering lamp which is very useful at night time if you are driving through roads which is filled with curves and turns and in this setup you even have the indicator that is a turn indicator which again comes in halogen bulb coming to the bottom we have a projector fog light with an halogen set coming to the side profile of verna we have a chrome finishing on the window beadings that run from the front to all the way back till the c pillars the door handle comes in chrome finish with a request sensor on the driver side hyundai has placed chrome in right amount on the car to make it more premium in terms of look in this variant we get a gunmetal finished diamond cut alloy wheels but the sxo variant gets a diamond cut alloy with much premium look due to the addition of black paint and chrome in the edges of that particular wheel coming to the sides we can see that the sides of this car merges with the back in such a way that it looks like a coupe like finish the highlight at the back is the stunning led tail light which looks gorgeous and premium especially during night times then at the bottom of the rear end we get a sporty diffuser with a chrome finish bar running from one end to another and there is fake air intakes on both the sides which adds to the cosmetic look of the car at the back Hyundai Verna gets a massive boot space of 480 liter which is really helpful when you go out on a road trip one of the most amazing feature of the Hyundai Verna is the hands free remote trunk opener you stand behind the boot for 4 seconds with the key it just opens on itself which is an amazing feature in this car the Verna is beautiful in the inside as it is in the outside the cabin it comes in two tone interior that is a beige and black finish and i personally like this chrome finishing around the ac vents and even in this steering wheel talking about features it is loaded with features as you have a 8 inch touch screen display which comes with wireless apple carplay and android auto and then you have a drvm that is a rear view monitor then coming further below you have the auto climate control setup and then below it is the wireless charging unit which is the unique feature in the segment and then you have other three usb ports two bottle holders and now talking about driving comfort you have this well stitched steering wheel and an armrest which comes in soft material and talking about soft material that is the only con inside this dash area or in the cabin cuz it is filled with hard plastic everywhere you can't see soft material at all and now the next highlight feature in this car is a complete digital cluster you get the tachometer the speedometer and every other details in this unit in a complete digital setup that is a 10.67 cm unit and now talking about practicality you have two cup holders here you have a armrest which has a decent capacity in the inside and you have two bottle holders on the left door and on the right door which is again decently sized and talking about one of the most loved feature in india a sunroof and you get even that in the verna sx variant itself now the other features include now first let's see how the back row is or how the comfort for the back seat passenger is. talking about the leg space 
it's just adequate for a person of my height and the under thigh support is just not that great but okay and uh, talking about the headroom it's just sufficient for a person of my height at the back leaving the spaces and other concerns aside the right quality is really good in the all new verna with very less road effects coming inside the new suspension adjustment is better than the previous verna cause small port holes and bumps aren't felt much in the all new one then the features like the armrest with a cup holder and a sun blind at the back an ac duct a charging port and a maxine holder makes it you know really good by going for a long time now it's time that we get into the driving experience of the all new verna when driving the verna cabin is the best to be in Hyundai Verna comes with three engine options that is the 1.5 liter petrol the 1.5 liter diesel and the 1 liter turbo which has a 7 speed DCT gearbox today we are driving the 1.5 liter petrol engine this engine is powered with a four cylinder 1500 cc engine which produces a max power of 130.42 horsepower at 6300 rpm and a max torque output of 144 newton meter at 4300 rpm this same engine is used by the korean company in its suvs that is the creta and the celtos talking about the performance the engine is very smooth and refined even compared to the previous generation verna but it loses 8 ps of power and 7 newton meters of torque compared to the previous generation but you know due to the adjustments in the curb weight uh, you don't feel major changes to the performance leaving that aside the verna feels the best to be driven around 4000 to 4500 rpm wherein the vehicle has lot of punch and a power throttle will help in highway overtakes very easy verna is not an enthusiast driver based car instead it is the one which has a calm and linear nature like the other hyundai engines there is no surge of power in most of the rpm range the midden seems to be flat due to the linear nature due to this driving nature it does good as an everyday car the verna has a 0 to 100 kmph time of around 12.2 seconds and talking about the fuel efficiency we get around 11 to 12 km per liter in city and 16.4 km per liter in highways now talking about the handling the verna is not a car will, which will keep you smiling in corners light amount of body roll is felt in corners with the light steering and other user friendly techs this car is a good pick for everyday use talking about the ride quality the new verna has become more better in bad road condition It absorbs most of the potholes and thereby reducing the bumpy feel inside the car. And with a ground clearance of 165 mm, which is decent enough for a sedan, you can tackle Indian roads pretty easily. But you have to be careful of sharp bumps and deep pot potholes, especially when the car is fully loaded. The new Verna comes in four variants: E, S Plus, SX, and SXO variant. Talking about the transmission, you can opt for the manual, else for the IVT gearbox, else the DCT turbo variant. Talking about color options, you have six color options for the all-new Verna: fiery red, typhoon silver, titan grey, polar white, and two more other colors. So the new Verna. is an amazing sedan with a lot of features compared to its rivals and it comes with a wonder warranty option wherein you can opt warranty for 5 years 40000 kilometers 4 years 40000 kilometers or 3 years unlimited kilometers with long chain of hyundai dealerships and service centers maintaining averna is also a very easy job subscribe to torque and throttle for more updates Thank you all see you in my next video